I've never heard of this series. Don't do that. Is this popular? Don't. Don't even start, dude. Do, are, are people really into these games? The fact that you're making me do this as a one-off is <laughs> insult to injury enough. You'll do be not fine. do that. That's a 1998 classic. It's not even just a 1998 classic. This is a fucking amazing... What are we doing? Oh, God damn it! You and your fucking... <laughs> awesome. Boo Quinn and Big D. Boo Quinn and Big D. All right, let's do some Big D, I guess. All right, it's fine, Dave. You know, we... It's, it's just a one-off. You, you'll survive. You Now, you didn't want to do this because it's so bad, right? <laughs> I'm looking at a small wireless mouse right now. Don't you say you one more word about me hating this game, <laughs> and it's going straight up your butthole. I know you love this game, Dave. Oh, my God. I fucking love this game, man. In fact, who, who doesn't love this game? There... You know, you know who doesn't love this game? Terrorists. Ego Raptor. That's a real thing. His only like, but he doesn't like it for a legitimate reason. He, yes, but he could, you know, phrase it better. <laughs> yeah, who needs to know this? He story? did a whole, he did a whole like eight minutes of a sequel items on it. Yeah, I know. And it was kind of just more ranty than anything. I don't know. In my opinion, Majora's Mask is the better game. That's my opinion. Oh man, that's my opinion too. Ocarina of Time is fucking awesome and I love it and everything. But, Majora's Mask, I believe, tells the better story, has the better atmosphere, and just has more, it's just more fun to play. Yeah. Like, that's the big, like, difference for me. Ocarina is awesome. And I love it, but a lot of people list this as the best game of all time, and I, I don't know if I would put that up there. I wouldn't go that far. Honestly, like, if we're going to discuss best games of all time, that's a pretty difficult topic, topic to even, like, tackle, you know? Yeah, that's a very touchy one. And, like, a lot of people are very, like, quick to the draw to the defend their favorite games. Now, in my opinion, there is a difference between the best games you've ever played and your favorites. That way, that way, it's very easy for me. My favorite game of all time is Metal Gear Solid 3. That's my favorite game. It's not the best game I've ever played, but it is my favorite. <laughs> Snake Eater! Snake Eater! And yes, I am aware of how fucking goofy it is. Oh, I actually really like uh, Metal Gear Solid 3. We should play it on here. It's really good. I own, like, four different versions of it. Uh, different versions? Yes. Are they, like, on different consoles, or what? Well, I have, you know, on two different consoles, four different versions. What the fuck? It's pretty fucking crazy. And the whole reason, like, I got into it in the first place is because... Your brother was house sitting for us one time, and then and left we, it. Yeah. Yeah, we came back, and he left MGS3 and Psychonauts. That's a great game too. Like Psychonauts is a really sweet game. I, I know. Really, it's I really awesome. like that game. Like he left some really good games behind. I'm like, thank you so much for doing that, Nick. I never returned. Yeah, them. he's bound. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Nick. They're mine now. <laughs> no, he's very prone to doing that. And I love it. He um. That dude's you, fucking rock. What, you don't fuck rocks? That's weird. <laughs> I don't know, like, I, 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 I'm I, very down with Nick leaving Boink. good games here. That's how I that's how I get into some different games that I wouldn't have played otherwise. Alright, before so, we got so rudely er uh, interrupted, what were we discussing? Okay, so, right here I want to point out something. Yes. This is one of the very, this is one of the first instances of... Uh, dynamic lighting. Mm -hmm. I see it. Like very directional lighting. Basically, what they—I mean, it's not very hard to do what Navi is. Mm -hmm. You basically take a small round object and then create it as a light, a lighted ball, and then you just sort of punch it in directions. But the coding behind it was actually very brand new for the for the time. Mm -hmm. I mean, you always had like flashlights and stuff, but something like this in a 3D object was very 
No, this it's game new. was fucking like revolutionary. Yeah, it was new. Like was, there was so it much was new, stuff. It was in exciting. It. Nobody has ever fucking used it before. Like just the little things like that. It's like what? You anyway, know, now I'm. I believe I was talking about MGS three. <laughs> ah. Yeah, like it was like I was like eleven or twelve when I first played it. I was around that age, and I would just skip the like intro sequence, and I just never really paid attention because Metal Gear Solid Three just seemed like a jumble of words. Ah. And finally, I like like I, I just called it Snake Eater because I didn't like even really care. I'm like, yeah, I'm just playing Snake Eater. And then after, like, playing for a little bit, I'm like, this, this is the third in the series. I gotta check out the other ones. Hi, Big D. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, babe. I'm glad you noticed. <laughs> <laughs> I got myself a fairy. I got myself a light orb. <laughs> what up? But, um... And so I checked them out. I played it. I played Metal Gear Solid, the, the series, in the weirdest order. I played it three, two... Four one. Isn't it like three two one four? No, um, the or like if we're gonna go chronological order, it's um three Peace Walker five, well Ground Zeroes then five, uh, then Metal Gear Metal Gear two, Metal Gear Solid Metal Gear Solid two Metal Gear Solid four, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Wow, that's the timeline. And that's uh, that's fucking something. Yes, and there's only one piece of the timeline that they'd have yet to fill after MGS5 if they were to do it. If uh, Hideo Kojima decided to do another one afterwards, but you know, we maybe hopefully, um, which would be the World War II era with the boss and the Cobra unit, which would be so good. That would actually be really neat. With the pain and the, the sorrow and all that shit, we can find out about Ocelot's birth and all that stuff. I don't know, I'm just getting hype about MGS3 while we're playing Ocarina. <laughs> oh my god, come on, I don't care. They're all your best friends, you, you don't get it. What are you doing? Talking to this guy. Oh yeah. I have to go get the sword and shield. No, I know. Mr. <laughs> Big Dick, <laughs> Big D over here, expert on everything Zelda. Okay, again, the fact that you're not letting me play this as like a full play is torture enough. Like, I ecstatically love the Legend of Zelda series, mm -hmm. especially Majora's Mask. There was a point in my life that when I was, when Majora's Mask came out, mm -hmm. Nick went and got it. Wait, stop. Look at this piece of text. <laughs> Without a fairy, you're not even a real man! Man, thank God I'm gay. <laughs> I am a fairy. <laughs> I'm right, both at the same time, you fuck. <laughs> there we go. Right, what were you saying? Right, Nick went and got the game. But because of the Nintendo 64, um, <coughs> it needed an upgraded RAM slot to play this. Mm. Remember that? The, uh, Okay, no, you guys were the ones that I would like. I would go to your guys' house to play N sixty four. We were the PlayStation family. Yeah, basically what happens is if you if you're looking at the N sixty four from the front, right behind the logo sits a little RAM card upgrade slot. Yes, I have that. It's about it's a small box. It's got like a red thing on top. Of yes, I needed that for Donkey Kong Country. Yeah, well, Donkey Kong it's 64. it's a RAM upgrade. It needed more yep. memory, more memory just to play. So you would need to buy. Zel you would need to buy Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, which was like 40 bucks, and then they sold you the RAM upgrade with it for an additional 20 so it would round off to be a $60 game. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember um, I was with you when you purchased um, uh, Kirby for the 64. And I don't remember that. I remember it was just a giant, like, row of N64 cartridges and me thinking, like, oh man, I wish I had the N64. Because <laughs> there's a lot more games that, you know, I was allowed to play on it. Yeah. <laughs> PlayStation had some pretty badass games, but I was I technically wasn't allowed to play all of them. I kind of had to sneak it. We still a babby. 
That's how I played the first Silent Hill. Oh god. I was a little baby. Freaking out at Silent Hill. I never got that super far into it, but I was really into it. And I'd get really scared. Yeah, because your like, dad always fucking had the games. Yeah, my dad had some sick ass games. Let me tell you. <laughs> oh man, here's the thing! He's the doing the thing! And he's doing the thing that we all know! The Kokiri Sword Game! Yay! 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 Actually, what Link is doing right now is noted as what one of the most iconic things from the series. Mm -hmm. You hold, he's holding it above, above his head. Yeah. Shit, where's my sword? You have to equip it. That's right, I do. And you have to go buy a shield, I believe. Yeah. But yeah, it's one of the most iconic things from the series. Mm -hmm. Mostly because it's been used in every game. It's pretty awesome. My uh, my favorites in the Legend of Zelda series. By the way, oh, this is that, that was another thing. really cool thing that they really wanted to show off. Yeah, that just blew my mind right there. No, right. because basically I took an object and I cut it into a piece. Yes. I cut it into another piece. And another piece. Yes. Now I took a single object... And now it's four entities. And now it's three entities. Yeah, it's pretty mind blowing. Where did this guy come from? <laughs> Check your bum. And my favorite is of the LOZ franchise, probably Majora's Mask, um, in first place, and probably a tie between the Wind Waker and Link to the Past. Wind Waker is one of my favorites. I like Wind Waker a lot, and you know I like still it, haven't bought the HD version for my Wii U. If it's going in like, all right, for games that I've played, mm -hmm. my favorites in the Legend of Zelda series are starting from the top. Mm -hmm. Number one is Majora's Mask. There we go. Number two is Wind Waker, and number three is Twilight Princess. Twilight Princess is good. Twilight Princess is a great game. Never finished it, it though. Looks fantastic. Yeah, it's really great for the Wii. Oh yeah, no, it's great. I especially love the um, the little secret uh, Twilight World too, because yeah, that really freaked awesome. me out the first time I saw it. I'm like, whoa! Like everything looks like a computer virus, and everything's all infected and fucked up. I remember Twilight Princess is one of the games I I, I came over to your house one day. And you guys were just pl playing it, and I would just watch you play it, and I, ha I didn't care at all that I was watching, just watching someone play a game. Yeah. Because it was pretty sweet to watch someone play that game. It was a really cool game. I beat that easily eight, nine times over. It's really great. I currently, like, I currently, for fun, enjoy speedrunning. <laughs> uh, I know, not even speedrunning. I currently enjoy just full playing um, Wind Waker. No, but it's my re my relaxation game. It is really relax. The sailing is awesome. Yeah. Plus, uh, um, when you get uh, when you beat the game once, you get an alternative outfit, mm -hmm. and then uh, you get an alternative outfit and sailing music the second time you beat it. That's sweet. Plus, you know all the Helian language, Here so it like translates it all for you. That's swag. <coughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, Wind Waker is awesome, and I really need to get the HD version. For my Wii U. Yeah. Like, I have a Wii U and I don't have that. It's almost like a shame. Fuck! Come on. We need a bit more rupees. We need nine more. I gotta go into somebody's house and break a bunch of pots. Oh, man. <laughs> Link. Big D over here. Link is super into pot. <laughs> super into pot confirmed. Called it. <laughs> I knew it. I always had a slight suspicion. <laughs> oh god, I don't want to talk to you. Do we razzle? What I love about this game too is um, they made use of the uh, 2D and 3D backgrounds. Yes. Because like, all right, that's very that's very much a 2D object plastered on a 3D background. Yes. It's a easy. It's an easy way to save memory. It's a very basic maneuver. But the thing is, they did it. They kind of did a lot of it. So it's slightly comical when you get really close to objects and they're all like pixelated. Yeah. It's a. Uh, oh, you got forty now! Yay! Yeah. Um, 
this is the one where I don't really like traveling around too much because Hyrule is kind of boring. Yeah, it kind of kills you. Like, I don't know, and it's, it's like, you, when you don't have the horse, it's pretty slow. Um, unless you want to, like, backflip through everywhere. <laughs> the fucking, like, sidestep is pretty quick, too. The, yeah, the backflip and the sidestep are, like, your fastest traveling methods. Those are the two things a lot of people do. But it's just like, ah, oh, it's so... Ah, oh, it takes a long time to it walk around takes, Hyrule. It takes a long time. And the problem is, it's like when it's nighttime, they freak you out more because of the uh, stall children. Yeah, the friggin' skull people, whatever. Stall. You're doing it. Yeah! Guess what, asshole? I got a sword and shield now. I got a sword and shield, dick. You can't stop me. I'm unstoppable. I'm the gingerbread man. <laughs> Also, in this game, still looks pretty great. For, I mean, for as old as it is, you can obviously tell it's aged. Yes, obviously. But it actually, but it still does look really nice. Like, aesthetically, it still looks really good. It, there's not a lot of games from this particular generation that still look good to look at. Huh. This game is one of those where it's like, wow, I still, you know, want to play this. Uh, what was it? Nintendo had a strategy of taking old technology and making it forward compatible. Mm -hmm. It was a very good idea. They're pretty good. They basically take old technology, like kind of they don't reinvent it, but they re they reinvigorate it. Mm -hmm. They essentially did that majorly with the Game Boy. Mm -hmm. They took a bunch of old technology, and they're like, alright, here's something cheap, we don't have to redefine the market, and we can make a lot of things for it. Mm -hmm. It's pretty... The Game Boy is still pretty fantastic. Like, and that thing, you could never beat it. Like, that thing could never break. Yeah. I have I know no one ever who ever broke a Game Boy. Like even a Game Boy advanced. That's interesting to think about. Because I didn't do that either. Huh. Yeah. I never really thought about that. Like I have never met a single person ever who has broken a Game Boy. Yeah. Like, you know, DS, 3DS, you hear about that every little bit. They're, those are still pretty well made, considering the time we live in. But um <laughs> Wow. Wow, yeah. The, the, like, Again, I never really thought about that. They just, they never fucking break. And it's pretty fucking impressive. It is really impressive. I one time accidentally dropped my GameCube down a flight of stairs. Those things are like cinder blocks. Man. And it, it was fine. And the stairs got demolished. <laughs> the stairs all broke in half. It was weird. Right, how far are we into this recording? Um... Well, we're about 20 minutes, and then we just hit the first temple, so... Yeah, we're in the... Deck. How many temple... Uh, how many dungeons are in this one? Oh, God. Um, remember? let's see. So we've got... Remember, there's a lot. <laughs> we've got this one. Um... Goron, Zora... Spirits. Mm -hmm. And then you go back through, and you got six mages. So you've got... No, you've got three temples to start with, and then, so nine. Right. Ten if you count Ganons. Um, yeah, I guess so. But well, that's sort of like a battle tower. That sounds thing. familiar. I remember someone telling me ten at one point. But, um, then Majora's doesn't have a lot of dungeons, admittedly. No. But, it's, but it's it got doesn't a lot. matter, because the side quest. Oh, no, the side quests are... are, are They're the game. Yeah, that, that is the game. Like, if you don't do side quests, you're not playing Majora's Mask. <laughs> oh, my God. I seriously love that game so much. I want to go I, I want to go back and just play it again just because I enjoy it so much. It's like, honestly, yes. I am playing through it right now. 
I'm not super far, but you know, well, I'm the loving thing it. Is, the thing is, everyone's just like, oh well, uh, blah 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 blah. If, if you don't do the side quest, it, you could beat it in like two hours. And I'm like, go well, fuck yourself. That's the whole point. Like the you side play, quests, like are the you, game. The side quests are literally the game. Like you're an idiot if you don't even attempt them. Yeah. Like honestly, and they're like that's the whole point. Like you're supposed to get emotionally invested in these people who are all like dealing with the end of the world in different ways. Yeah. Some of them are in like outright denial. Some of them are uh, keeping on a smiley face for the benefit of others. It's 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 very in depth. Yeah. It, it's it makes very, you think. It's very in depth and it's very well written. Oh yeah, I got it. Oh, I got Deku Strub. Ah, gotcha, bitch. Uh, when you jump off a high cliff. Oh, God, the roll thing. Oh, thanks, bro. The You're roll my... thing in this game is actually really hilarious, because I, I forgot that it was a thing. Yes. Because you just sort of do it at. You, after a while, everything in this game sort of becomes muscle memory. Mm -hmm. Like the fighting and all the stances and all that other bullshit. So you targeting? Yeah. But, what happened was, I was getting, one of the side quests for this game is getting the most upgraded sword. Of course. I think it's called, it's not, like, there's like the master sword, and there's also like the hero sword. Uh-huh. Or something like that. Anyway, I, God, I got that, and then I decide, what you gotta basically do is climb to the top of Death Mountain. And then, what you can do is, after that, you can either fly out of there, or you can climb back down. I decided to say, fuck it, go with option C, and I just jumped off the cliff. <laughs> I jumped off the cliff all the way down this cliff face that takes like a minute or five to climb up it. Yeah. Hit the ground, and you're like, oh fuck, I'm gonna die. Just before I hit the ground, it sort of held forward, and I, and I just sort of rolled. And I was fine. No damage taken falling down this 80-story cliff face. <laughs> I was just like, oh, hey, look at that. I forgot I could do that. There we go. <laughs> look at that. Th it even counteracts that here. I can't guarantee you it'll, it will work, though, if the cliff is really, really, really high. <laughs> but it works. But it does work. There is maybe two instances in where it doesn't work. One of which is, I think, this entire place. Yeah. Oh, thanks, bro. Yeah, really. <laughs> Freaking scrub. <laughs> scrub lord. He is a scrub. Yay! You did it! We're doing the... the By the way, I, uh... The one thing that I'll, I always find myself as an accomplishment as... Huh? I got all the... Golden Skulltas in this game. Really? Yeah. Alright, the Golden Skulltas are basically... The collectibles of this game. You collect them and you get extra bonus stuff. Mm -hmm. From like a bigger wallet, to a bigger arrow quiver. All that choy. To like a bigger bomb bag. And basically it bigger gives deep. you, it makes the game easier. It makes the game easier if you explore it. Yeah. I found all of them without a guy. I found all of them. I did all the side quests and I did everything. Except the water temple without a guide. The water temple, you, there, there's, it's, it's justified to use a guide. It's justified to use the water temple guide. All right, <laughs> um, that is some bullshit. Yeah. Cool. Well, that was a, a tickling at my childhood for Legend of Zelda: <laughs> Ocarina of Time. I always like to tickle your childhood. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm the straight one here. Yeah, really. <laughs> All right. Well, cool. Alright, uh, Pigeonholes just did Ocarina of Time. Love you. Bye.